Hello YouTube and welcome to my Xbox 360 collection. This is going to be a, probably a very long video, so bear with me. It might be in two parts yet. So let's get started. First off is my Driver Free Collector's Edition. This came with the game, a map, a booklet, and obviously the car. Next up is Assassin's Creed Revelations. There we are, it's better. Assassin's Creed Revelations. I also have that for the PlayStation 3. Next up is Assassin's Creed 3, which I believe isn't favoured by the fans, but I quite am enjoying this at the moment. Saints Row the Third, brilliant game. Dead Space, still yet to complete. But I'm finding this very interesting, especially with the surround sound. Medal of Honor Warfighter, limited edition. This is not very good at all, in my opinion, to be honest. Forza 2, that came with a bundle. All I have is the booklet and the, and the game. It was a bundle copy that came on my friend's Xbox, and he's not really into racing games. So I've had this for quite a while now. Crackdown, good game for the price. It was also free on gold. Seen it. This is a fun game for when you have people round. I have the four buzzers to play with as well. Mind Jack, I got this due to a recommendation from Metal Jesus. I believe it was, I could be wrong. But this isn't a bad game. You're in the movies, very cheap to buy, especially if you get the Xbox Live Vision camera, which I have. It's it's a fun game, it's not accurate, but it, it's, it's fun. Top Spin 2, I think this is the one, it's one of the tennis games I have, which plays at 50 hertz, and my, my TV can't seem to do that. That's a good thing for my TV, you know, it can't go that low. But a bad thing I can't play the game. An Xbox, Xbox Live Arcade bundle. And this comes with Pac-Man Championship Edition, Boom Boom Rocket, plus arcade favourites like Uno and Feeding Frenzy. Most of these games I do own already in my arcade collection on my console. I have loads of games on my hard drive to the point where it was hard to list them all as I can't remember what games I have. Okay, and we have Xbox Live Arcade Unplugged. This comes with Jewel 2, Geometry Wars, Wick Fable of Souls, Hardwood Backgammon, Outpost, and Texas Hold'em. Next up, I have three Kinect games. I did have more, but I sold a few to build up my Xbox One collection. Due to, if you see my previous video, my cat Commander Shepard eating the Kinect cable. That is Connect Adventures, I came with it. U Star in the movies. This I, I really like this game, to be honest. It's really cheap if you have a Connect. It's a bit of fun. And Michael Jackson's The Experience. It's MJ. Next up we have Alone in the Dark. It's alright. One of my favourite arcade racing games, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. I own this on every console I possibly can, and the PC. Dead Rising. Madden 11. These games, these sports games, bar FIFA, which I do play a lot of, are just more or less to fill my collection out, because I will one day hope to complete my 360 collection. Next up is Just Cause. I prefer the second one. A fun little racing game. Flat out Ultimate Carnage. It's actually, I think it's an, as a mode in this where you throw your guy out of the car. It's quite fun. Pro 
Evo 2009, just a filler, I suppose you could say. Dark Sector, very underrated game, I think. I think if you can, you can pick this up for next to nothing, if you see it lying about for a couple of quid, I suggest you pick it up. Red Faction Armageddon, I loved Gorilla. I haven't played this yet, but I've heard it's not had good reviews. So I'm not in a rush to play that. W12, some wrestling game. I've not played this. The only game, wrestling game I have played in the 360, I believe is Legends of Wrestling, where I completed that to a thousand achievements. Next up is Clash of the Titans. Not a good game, but most movie to game games aren't really. Assassin's Creed 1, where it all began. It's a good game. It's all right. I mean, it's not going to compare to Black Flag, but it's good. Far Cry 2. Yet again, would rather play Far Cry 3. I have the first one on my hard drive. Dead or Alive Extreme 2. This is all the Dead or Alive characters playing volleyball and little games. If you're a little pervert, you might like this game. Next up, I have Dynasty Warriors 5. Now, I, I'm really into these games. I mean, it's, it's hit and miss for a lot of people, but I, I love these games. I don't think I could pronounce this next one. Ake Katana. This is a 2D shooter, and I'm not really into these 2D shooter games, but I, I really like this. NBA 2K8, just a filler. Lost Planet 2, picked it up cheap. I haven't played it. Sega Superstar Tennis, I believe I was given this by someone. Dead Space 2. I, will, I won't play that till I completed Dead Space 1, obviously. Ninja Blade. This is a really good game. I really enjoy playing this. I haven't yet to complete it. It's very hard. It reminds me of um, Ninja Gaiden. Project Gotham Racing 4. I remember when it started off as MSR, was it? On the Dreamcast. And Project Gotham Racing 3. Classics. I don't like the whole classics thing. F1 2010, I believe this was the first Formula 1 game for the 360 and PlayStation 3. Codemasters did a really good job with that. Next up is Steel Tin, Stranglehold. Dead Rising 2, Zombrex Edition. This is in a metal tin case. It came with a pen that's also a syringe and also comes with a bonus DVD. Here we are. Halo Anniversary, which was brought to me by my missus. Perfect Dark Zero, which is in a sleeve, within a case, within a bonus DVD, and some sort of cartoony manual. Now this, if you're into getting your metal tins or your collector's editions, this perfect dark tin, I mean the game's not that great, but the um, I brought this I believe for about £2. Forza, Forza Motorsport 3 limited collector's edition, I love my Forza games, it's my favourite, it's overtook Gran Turismo in my opinion. And this came with a key ring and a USB stick containing 2 gig, I believe. Pez 2011, Tiger Woods 07, that, this, this one is my favourite Tiger Woods game, it seems to have a lot more fun with it, it's not as serious. Tiger Woods 06, if you're an achievement hunter like me, you would have to have this. Euro 2008, Champions League 2006-2007. I'm a football fan, so I believe the next batch of games are all football games, so I apologise in advance. G2 
Germany 2006 Easy Achievos. Very easy for that. Same with this one as well, FIFA 06 Road to World Cup. One of those two games has won for 500 points. FIFA 13, FIFA 12, FIFA 11, FIFA 10, FIFA 9, FIFA 8, FIFA 7. Football Manager 2007, Football Manager 2006. I'm looking to get Football Manager 2008, but it can be quite pricey on eBay. Next up is another gift from my wife, which is the Halo Reach Limited Edition Collection. I'm not going to open it up, as it hasn't been opened. So my apologies for that. Next up. I have Formula One 2011, which I've not played yet. I think it, I think it was just cheap. Vin Diesel, the Wheelman. This is a hit and miss game for a few people. For me, it's a hidden gem. It's it's a bit of fun. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Call of Duty. Resident Evil 5. I have all the add-ons for this. I believe. It's two expansion packs, isn't it? Need for Speed Most Wanted, with all the add-ons for this as well. I enjoyed this game. It took me a while to get started. I didn't like the handling to begin with, but then I just got used to it. A very underrated game, and if you see this about, I suggest you get it. Spec Ops The Line. It's a brilliant game. It has a really good twist to it. Warriors Arachi 2. This game is basically Dynasty Warriors. I mean, a lot of the characters are the same. Left for Dead. One. Tekken Tag Tournament. I can play Tekken games. Now, these next two games, actually, I didn't find them very easy to find, but they seem to be everywhere now. Except for this one, I haven't seen much of this one. And that's Deadly Premonition on the Xbox 360. I picked this up at game for £3. And Full Auto. I wanted this game ever since I got my 360 and found it hard to come by. But I have it now. Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell Double Agent. Battlefield 3. I like the Battlefield games. I mean, I play Battlefield on the Battlefield 4 on the Xbox One. Gears of War 2. Gears of War 1, sadly, in classics. Mass Effect 1, 2 and 3. Brilliant games. And next up we have... Halo Wars, Halo Reach, the game's out of the box, Halo 4, Halo 3 ODST, and Halo 3. And I'm happy that none of those are in classics. <coughs> Peter Jackson's King Kong. Now I know what you're thinking. Yes, I did get the 4,000 Gs on this. You can also cheat and have infinite life. Get your 4,000 game points on that. Pez 2008. Tiger Woods 09. Tiger Woods 08. NBA Live 06. Guitar Hero Legends of Rock, Guitar Hero 3. This is probably the favourite one. It has a brilliant soundtrack to it. Probably the best of the Guitar Heroes, in my opinion. Dark Messiah. Can't really get into this, sadly. I do have another wrestling game. It was Smackdown vs. Raw 2011. Not really into the wrestling games, but I probably haven't. I don't think I've played this, to be honest. Eat Lead, Return of Matt Hazard. I 
I actually don't mind this game, it's quite a good game. Seen it, lights, camera, actions, it's in this little box which means at some point it was someone's bundle copy. But I'm happy to have that. I, I don't, I'm not sure, I wonder, wonder if anyone can leave anything in the comments section, but is, I'm, I believe there's three Seen It games, I have two. But I could be wrong. So if you know, please leave a comment. The Beatles rock band. I mean, being from the UK, you can tolerate Beatles. I mean, they're pretty much the thing at one point. Red Dead Redemption. Brink. Like a lot of people, I didn't like this. It was cheap. Now, this game is a hit and miss for a few people, but I really enjoyed it. And that's Alain Noir. It's a brilliant game for me. Probably enjoyed it. But I think I've completed that twice. A promotional copy of Fuel. SBKX. I've not played this yet. I will get around to it at some point. Rock Band 1 and 2. FIFA 14 in tin case. I actually got this because the FIFA 14 copy I brought, the code didn't work, it was in it, I bought it brand new. So the guy gave me the um, case at the store, which was quite nice of them. Sniper Elite version 2. It's a very good game. Borderlands Game of the Year. That concludes all of the DLC. Test Drive Unlimited 2. I'm, I really love my Test Drive games. Dead Island Game of the Year. Aliens Colonial Marines Extermination Edition. And I have not played this. This was a game that went from brand spanking new to cheap in days. Accordingly, it didn't sell very well. Hence why I'm not in a rush to play it. I'm not a big RPG fan, but I did find myself getting into Uncharted Arms. I couldn't really tell you what's going on with the story, because when I could skip it, I would. But I, I love the gameplay. Ghost Recon Future Soldier. This Abomination of Resident Evil 6. I think Leon's first go in the campaign was probably the highlight for me. The rest of it just it just went downhill. Resident Evil should go back to the horror route to stop it being an action game. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. The Burnout Ultimate Box and Trivia Pursuit. That's two in one games. That's both games. There's one. An underrated game in my opinion. I don't hear a lot of people talking about this. But that's Prey. Kingdom Under Fire Circle of Doom. Played about five minutes of it I believe. And couldn't really get into it. Spent a lot of time playing this and online. Command and Conqueror 3. Another double pack, which contains Pure and Lego Batman. I think Pure was done by Disney, which is like a quad bike racing game. Next up is UDraw Studio Instant Artist. I actually have the UDraw tablet thing. I've, pl I've had it out once and played it. It's not really a game I'm going to go back to. Band Hero. Cheap. Rockstar presents table tennis. Stick to open. We should have made it open world table tennis where we get to go on the streets and just bash people around the head with our rackets, whatever they're called. Kane and Lynch 2, limited edition. Not a good game. 
Race Pro. Mm. I suppose it's alright. It's kind of middle ground for me. I like my simulation games, but also like my arcade, and it's somewhere in the middle. It tries to be simulation. Tom Clancy's Hawks. It's not Ace Combat. Rainbow Six Vegas. I had a lot of fun with this, especially trying to use the Xbox Live Vision camera to put my own face on the character. There's loads that goes terrible. Rainbow Six Vegas 1. Medal of Honor Tier 1 Edition. I've actually completed this. And I played a lot of the multiplayer. I think I only have one multiplayer achievement left to get. Prince of Persia, which looking at this right now, I forgot I had. I'm going to have to give this a play at some point. Lost Planet 1. I suppose that's where the crap all began. My last pile. Ghost Recon 1 and 2. My, one of my favourite racing games on the 360 and PlayStation 3, Midnight Club Los Angeles. Come on, Rockstar, we want another one. Give us one. This is another hit and miss game, but I actually enjoyed it. And that is Max Payne 3. If you're an achievement hunter, good luck in getting them achievements. Hitman Absolution. Deuce X. I believe that's how you pronounce it, with DSX. Battlefield Bad Company 3. Sorry, 2. 2. We're waiting for a Battlefield Bad Company 3. Fable 3. Fable 2. Where is the Fable? Oh, I haven't got anniversary yet. I thought I did. The Darkness, another underrated game. And then for my last slot, we have Gears of War 3 Limited Edition. Forza Motorsport 4 Limited Edition, which I believe comes with a book. Assassin's Creed Black Flag Skull Edition. This comes with an art book, official soundtrack, steel case, and two lithographs. I probably said that wrong. And then finally, for me, this is an underrated game. This is a game I've completed seven times. I love this game, and I've recently heard they're going to be doing a sequel, which is good. Or just remake this one. Give us something. Alan Wake. This is a brilliant game. And this is the limited edition box, which is actually a book, which comes with the game, a book, and the Alan Wake Files book. And I believe that's it for my Xbox 360 game collection. Soon I'll be uploading my accessories. I have quite a lot of accessories, as you can tell by a few of the games I've got for my Xbox 360. Also my multiple hard drives. Thank you very much for watching. Please leave a comment if you have anything to say or you have rare games. I'm interested in rare games. Let me know what rare games you have. And please leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching.